Mosalisu made his long-awaited return to action, playing his very first game for AS Monaco. Since they signed him in August, the Ghanaian has not been able to play. But despite him returning just in time, just a little over 30 days for the start of the AFCON, we're going to look at why he probably will not make it into the tournament to play for Ghana. My thoughts on why that is. We'll also talk about Abdul Fatah Wisahaku enjoying life in the championship with Leicester City. A brace of assists in three minutes has helped his side with another win and inching closer to a possible promotion into the Premier League after being relegated last season. We'll also talk about Jordan Ayew's red card. And speaking of the AFCON, we'll talk about the place where Ghana and Nigeria will be camping. Ghana and Nigeria will be in Abidjan and apparently they will be in the same hotel. As usual, don't forget to subscribe if you have not. Click on the notification bell to get more updates. Purchasing our merchandise links in the description goes a long way to help us bring you amazing content especially as the AFCON is coming up. Purchase our merch links are in the description. I'll jump right into it and talk first of all about uh, the Ghana uh, Black uh, Stars players. Mohamed Salisu, I'll start off with. Uh, Salisu made a return to action for AS Monaco and it was a long-awaited one. The last time he played uh, for, for his club side uh, was about 200 days ago and there has been a long-awaited, a uh, much-anticipated uh, return to action uh, for Mohamed Salisu. He made a much anticipated return to action and this was what his stats read it was an amazing uh, few minutes 90 minutes of action 58 touches 40 of his 49 uh, passes completed uh, four duels won six final third passes uh, two out of two tackles won and two clearances yes uh, his side won this game versus run 2-1 in the end and uh, Salisu was back in action. Despite him being back in action that's in the second week of December, it's highly unlikely he will be available for Ghana at the AFCON. Things could change but uh, the AFCON is a bit too close for him uh, apparently. Uh, looking at uh, uh, the way his club has invested in him in terms of his injury, taking care of him, his rehabilitation, bringing him back to action. It would uh, be remiss if he does come back to play for Ghana and probably gets injured at the Africa Cup of Nations. They would not have uh, reaped a bit from their investment. So I'm thinking uh, that he will be held on to. Yes, he will not probably be allowed to play in the African Cup of Nations. I could be wrong, but uh, we'll see what happens in the coming days when Mohamed Salisu, the Black Star squad, is announced uh, for the African Cup of Nations. It's going to be an interesting time uh, to watch Ghana in Ivory Coast. Yes, uh, uh, we are looking to uh, break that Afghan jinx, uh, but we sound like a broken record talking about a jinx, which uh, we are not any closer uh, to uh, breaking, especially looking at the performance over the years. But Salisu could be out uh, for Ghana in the Afghan. Abdul Fatah Wisak is enjoying life in the championship with Leicester City. Yes, a brace of assists for him today in the game versus Plymouth Argyle. His team won 4-0 in the end and it was great to see him in action. Fatah Wisaku settling in nicely for his club side, that is Leicester City. On loan from Sporting CP, Fatah Wisaku will be a key figure looking at how things are going for his club side. So we wish him all the very best. Great game today, a brace of assist. He's enjoying life with Leicester City. Antoine Selom Semenyo was in action uh, for his club side. 58 minutes of action as they beat Manchester United 3-0. Yeah, you heard me right. 3-0 uh, was the final scoreline for Manchester United versus AFC Bournemouth. It was a game in which United, after getting that win versus Chelsea, could not uh, continue their fine form. The inconsistencies this season have been crazy. Up next for them is Bayern Munich in a must win game and hope that other things in other games in the group go their way. It's not in their hands. They just have to win and keep their fingers crossed to make it to the next round. 
a very very consistently inconsistent Manchester United team have uh, been playing for Eric Ten Hag this season things have not been going well and uh, it continues after the high of Chelsea win another low versus one month here and uh, Jordan Ayew saw red the red card three minutes later after he caught it Liverpool came back into the game and uh, the impetus was on them they got all three points Jordan would be disappointed with himself as Roy Hodgson is under a lot of pressure uh, following his team's poor run of form Jordan as a senior player in his early 30s uh, should have known better a second yellow card meant he was sent off and that cost his team this game big time. So that was a roundup of uh, the Ghanaian players today that uh, Sean uh, will also talk about the Ghana Black Stars camping base for the African Cup of Nations. Yes, it has been revealed. Uh, Ghana will be in the same hotel as uh, Nigeria. Both teams will be housed in the Pullman Hotel Abidjan Plateau. Uh, Nigeria are in Group A alongside the host, while Ghana are in Group B uh, with Egypt. So both groups are based in Abidjan. It'll be interesting to see how things go there on that front for the Ghana Black Stars. Uh, they will be in the same area with their very good friends, the Nigerians. We'll see how things go on that front. That has been it for today. Talking to you about the Ghana Black Stars camping base. They'll be sharing camping base with Nigeria in Abidjan. The capital, Group A and B, will be in there also been talking to you about uh, the performance of Ghanaian players uh, great 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 ones there uh, to look out for Antoine Semenyo Jordan are you unfortunate there red card meant his side loss versus Liverpool despite taking the lead uh, brace of assist uh, for Abdul Fatah Isaku and a much awaited return for Mohamed Salisu I'll see you guys in the next one have a great weekend mm -hmm.